Hello everyone, welcome back to Music Appreciation. Looking forward to what we're going to talk about today. We are going to continue talking about the music of Mexico. Yesterday we talked about Son of Sarachos. Today we are going to talk about the mariachi. Our essential question for today is, what is one of the musics native to the people of Mexico and what is its significance as a type of musical expression? First, a quick recap. Like I said, we're going to continue to talk about this and review this so that you guys can work on your perceptive listening. If you remember back, perceptive listening is the ability to listen to music and describe what is in it. So that is why we're going to continue talking about means expression in order, because if you can listen to a piece of music and be able to describe these three things, you are working on perceptive listening because you are listening to the music and then you're able to break apart parts of it. Namely, in this case, the means, the expression and the order. So the means is the source of the sound. What is making the sound you are hearing? Instruments, vocalists, computers. What is making the sound that you are hearing? That is the means. Then the expression is what is the song trying to communicate? What are the lyrics trying to say? What message is it trying to give along? Or if the song doesn't have lyrics, then what kind of mood, what kind of feeling is the song trying to get across? And finally, order is what are the parts of the song and how are they laid out? So verses, choruses, guitar solos, things like that. Uh, again, as a review, a verse is kind of the bulk of the song. What is telling the story of the song? And then the chorus is the part of the song that repeats itself over and over again. A resource that I love using is Genius Lyrics because if you look up a song on there, the lyrics will be there, but every block of text will have a heading that says verse, chorus, bridge, verse two, chorus, whatever the actual part of the song is, it will tell you. So that is a very good resource to use to get used to trying to pick out what the order of a song is, because that will literally tell you the parts of the song and how they're ordered. Going into what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about the mariachi tradition today. So traditional music from the Jalisco region of Mexico is usually played by the mariachi. Mariachi is a musical group with several violins, two trumpets, a bass guitar called the guitarron, a short five-string rhythm guitar called a vuela, and a normal six-string guitar. So mariachi bands play and sing many different kinds of music. Could be love songs, happy songs, sad songs, party songs. Obviously, they're a musical group, so they're flexible in the exact type of music that they perform. And I will say uh, with this definition, it doesn't have to be exactly that to be a marriage band. So like, for example, it doesn't have to have a bunch of violins to be a marriage band. If there is a violin, then it's okay. Same thing with the two trumpets thing. In both of the videos that we're going to look at, there aren't only two trumpets. So the idea is that these instruments are involved. And the, this definition doesn't specifically say it, but marriage bands also sing a lot as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch these two videos. I'll link them in the corner. But for the first one, I want you to listen to the whole thing because it's only a few minutes long. And I want you to look at the different instruments that are there, uh, the kinds of music that they're playing, the style that it has, the language they're singing in. I want you to try to take in all this information while you're watching this video. Then the other one is a mariachi band from Disney's Epcot. And uh, if you don't know what Epcot is, Epcot is, it's one of the parks in Disney World, but it has different sections of the park that are dedicated to different countries from around the world. The goal of Epcot is to be as culturally representative of that country as accurately as possible. For example, when you go to the French section of Epcot, they try to be as accurate to French culture as possible. Same thing with the Mexican pavilion. They try to be as culturally accurate to Mexico as they can while still being in Florida. And one of the things that they have in the Mexican pavilion at Epcot is a mariachi band that performs. So that example is a very typical version of a mariachi band where, where they have the guitar instruments as well as a violin and a trumpet. So obviously since it's Disney, they'll 
Disney fi some things like they'll play songs from Coco and things like that. But I want you to watch that video as well so you can see another example of what a mariachi band can sound like. So again, go ahead and go ahead, watch the first video, and then you don't have to watch the whole second video because it's like 15 minutes long, but you can watch a few songs out of it and you can get the idea of what I'm saying. So let's look at this a little bit. This is the second video that I had up and I just want to go through and identify the specific instruments that we talked about in that definition for mariachi. So for example, right here in the center, that is the guitar. That is that giant bass guitar. As you can see, compared to the other guitar in the same shot, that is a giant guitar. That's the bass guitar of the group. Then over on the left side is a little five string viola that we talked about, that it's a rhythm guitar. And if you look at the right side of that little guitar, there's five pegs at the top of the guitar. So that means there's five strings attached to it. So it's that little five string rhythm guitar. As you can see in this shot, this guy right here in the center is holding a normal six string guitar. And then on the right side there is a man playing the trumpet. And last but not least here, we have a gentleman with a violin. So here in this group, we have the bass guitar, the rhythm guitar, the normal six string guitar, a violin, and a trumpet. Those are all of the instruments that we talked about in the definition for a mariachi band. And they also sing and have that very distinctive, joyful, collective sound to them. Now, the first video was the exact same way. They had the bass guitar, they had the rhythm guitar, they had the normal guitars, they had trumpets, they had violins. There were just more people involved in the first video. The first video also has a harp in the center, in the back row. That doesn't mean that they're not a marriage man because they have a harp. It just means that that particular group decided to add a harp into it. So here is an explanation of what your assignment today is going to be. You're going to watch this video and then you're going to identify the instruments that are used in mariachi. Then what does each instrument contribute to the mariachi ensemble? So for example, the guitar, what does it do? Is it a melody? Is it like the most important thing at the time? Is it a harmony kind of in the background supporting everything? Then, you know, what does the trumpet do? Is it a melody or is it only background stuff or does it change between them depending on what part of the song it's in? That's what I want you to do for that question is for these instruments, what do they do in the group? What part do they play? Are they the melody? Are they the harmony? Are they supporting? Are they the most important thing? Does it change whether or not they are the most important thing or in the background? That's what I want you to think about with that question. Then third question, on what occasions do mariachis typically play? So refer back to yesterday, what we talked about with when music is used in Mexican society. Then describe the typical mariachi attire. There were the two videos from earlier, as well as this video, where you can see that mariachi bands have a certain type of attire that they wear. There's a certain look to them. And I want you to try to describe the typical mariachi attire. What do they look like? Because they have a very distinctive look. It's not just, you know, they're all in shorts and t-shirt and just came together to do something. They are together. They have a certain look that helps to legitimize themselves as a mariachi group because they have the look as well as the sound that they are going for. So wrapping up what we talked about today, we talked about Again, the music of Mexico. Specifically, we talked about the mariachi band. Make sure you guys go to Schoology to complete your assignments for today because I use them for your grades as well as attendance. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll help you however I can. Have a good day.